Say you are managing your deals in Notion and you want to have contacts populated in Folk because that's what you use as a CRM tool for dynamically updated conversations. And you want to connect the two automatically. So right now, we are going to look at that use case from adding a contact to Notion to have it populated in Folk automatically so that all your interactions in the future with that contact are going to be recorded and stored in Folk. To achieve such a use case, we will use Zapier as the automation tool because Folk right now is only available on Zapier and it doesn't have any triggers, so anything that can start an automation, but only actions, so anything that can end an automation. And that's why we're going to start from Notion as a use case for managing your deals. So let's say here we are in Notion and that's the freelancer home base template and we have a deal. And the use case is that in this deal, we want to add a contact name and email. And once we do that, we want to have the automation populate folk automatically, adding the contact name and email in the CRM tool. So in the example, let's say for Nike, we're going to add an example name. And that's the only thing that we need to make this work. So ideally, we want to have that contact populate our client's test group in folk. So let's go to Zapier and create a new Zap. And the first app that we want to select is Notion because that's the trigger that we're going to use. So let's select Notion latest and the event is new database item. That we want to look for because whenever a new item is created in our deals database, we want this automation to get triggered so that it can read the contact name and email address. So continue and here Zapier will ask you to select your account. I've already connected my account and I've made sure that my deals database is accessible by Zapier, which you can see right here. I'm going to choose this one right here, which is the account that I want. Now, the database that I want to choose is called Deals. So let's see if we can find that right now. And this is it. That's the Deals database that we want to choose for this automation. So now they're testing the trigger right now by clicking this button and the automation is looking for a new entry and you can see that it found something that is DLX, so that's the entry that you found, so the latest entry. And so here you can see we already have a contact name and email. We can play with those with the automation. So the trigger is set up in Zapier. So we can move on now, continue with the first action in here. And the first action will be using fork. So using fork, we want to add that contact to fork so event is going to be create person continue now i need to connect my account to folk which you can see is already connected right there and you can see in folk there is an integration panel when you go to settings you see integrations right here and here you have your api key that you will use when connecting your folk account to any integration or automation software with that, we can continue right there. And here we are setting up the action right now. So we know that the group where we want to add our contact in Folk is the client's test group. So that's what I'm going to select from this drop down menu right here. Next up, we have full name. So the full name of our contact is going to be taken from Notion. And here you see the different data that we have from Notion, like the URL of the page, we have the deal name, which is DLX in our case, which is this one right here in Notion. And what we want to get for the full name of the client is the contact name. So if you scroll down, you will see here, that's the contact name, and that corresponds to the full name of the client. So the first name and the last name are taken from the full name. So we don't need to populate those. For the current company, and the company will likely be automatically created in Folk thanks to the email domain of the user. So then birthday, job title, we don't have those, we don't really need them. And when it comes to email, that is something that we can pull from Notion. Contact email, that is the data that we want. Phone number, we don't have that. And so we can continue right there. We can test and continue. In Folk, you can see that John Doe has been populated correctly. In URLs here, we could include the URL of the Notion deal page. And to do that, we can go back to Zapier, setup option. Then let's go to URLs 
and in here we can include the URL so that you can directly open it from folk and then we can retest and give you so our contact has been sent to folk again let's see what it looks like this time and you can see that here we have the notion URL that I can open and it will bring me to the DL page in notion which is DLX that is how the automation work the more you can achieve with folk at least at this early stage of the CRM tool and notion managing your deals in notion and effortfully adding your contacts and their email to folk so that you can dynamically update your interactions and track all the reminders and CRM stuff that you need for every contact in folk.